Pledge of Allegiance, led by Mr. Devon. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Brings us down to special recognitions and presentations, and uh, we have one this evening, and it is the CTE Scholar. Ms. Stutter? Yeah, we had um, a recognition for our CTE Scholars, and she was unable to make it. She's here. Yeah, so um, we have a certificate for her. Do you want to say anything, Heidi, since you kind of... Oh, yeah, sure. 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 This is Mia Starkey, and she is the CT scholar, and that's a really big deal because she's actually scored on the NOCTI assessment three different ones over 70%. It's very rare that that happens. We only had two CT scholars in our county that I'm aware of um, in the last five years. So um, I remember I was helping proctor the test, and she took her second test, and she could, you get your score back very quickly. And so I was like, oh, you did pretty well on that. And she goes, well, I have another one tomorrow, and I'm thinking, Hmm, you're gonna have three and then when she got that third score of above 70 percent it's just really impressive and she's worked really hard and uh, you might want to know what she's going to be doing here after graduation because she has a pretty cool plan yeah. i was just going to say look at her mask <laughs> you see her mask that's her first <laughs> <laughs> well i'm going to present mia starkey with this certificate from Harrison County School, the CTE scholar, and we're glad you could make it tonight, um, has distinguished herself as a career and technical education triple completer and has scored at least 70% on three non-type completer exams. This earning the distinction of Harrison County School CTE scholar. And so that was the day So congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, she's got a glimble mask on. I'm assuming you're going to be a pioneer. Oh, that was just plan. <laughs> but I'm going to take a year and focus on farming for now. Oh, wow. Very nice. What did you score in with your, was it in, in agriculture? Liberty. Uh, my NOFTI scores? Yes. Uh, I believe I got an 87, an 83, and then a 74. But what was in the, what, uh, the Animal systems, plant systems, and then ag business. She's part of the program at Liberty High School. Yeah. yeah. And they're having a banquet tonight. There. Yeah, you're back. Oh, that's the, yeah, that's the FFA. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go to the banquet. Yeah. Well, very nice. So we're glad you came this evening. Thank you. Congratulations. To the banquet, you could go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so those were great. Thank you. Wait, we'll see. I think that's Mrs. McCauley. Mrs. McCauley and Zachary Tennant. Yep. Thank you. Well, enjoy Thank the bye. Brings down the delegations. Do we have any delegations? Yes. No delegations this evening. Uh, superintendent's update. You know, um, I didn't put a lot of things on this update because I thought we were a lot of it involves the ESSER funding. So we put that on as a separate um, item down lower. So we'll okay. talk about the money, ESSER funding, and funding if you're okay. okay. So that's it? That's it. I, I, I just had a couple of questions. questions. Um, the, are, how is our summer school? Oh, and then good. also I wanted to find out about food for the, for the kids who are coming in. Be in summer school. Is there money left over from the federal government to, for box lunches like we were doing last Oh, summer? yeah. The, the, st the students in the summer school programs will get a breakfast and a lunch. Okay. I didn't know if there, anyone who wasn't part of the summer program. Oh, no. Okay. So, yeah, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be fed well uh, for the summer school. We have, what was our, what's our not number right now registered? Over 800 now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. That's increased in the last um, couple weeks. Yeah, yeah, it has. Mm -hmm. And then we're in the we filled a lot of the positions. We're in good shape with staffing. Um, our high schools, uh, we needed counselors at our sites. So we're kind of doing a different look at that because we did not have counselors. And they're going to do a career readiness piece. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at uh, possibly professionals that have other qualifications. 
that could do that piece. So I think we're ready to go and uh, teachers will have money for supplies and we'll get it off the ground. So yeah, great, exciting. Okay, and it concludes the superintendent's update. This is down to consent items. Is there a motion to approve consent items? So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. New business. American Rescue Plan Elementary and Secondary Schools Emergency Relief Funding. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the hot uh, item right now is looking at the funding that we're getting. Of course, that's what's uh, funding our summer school. A lot of this money is funding the SOULS grant as, um, in addition to this is funding all the summer school stuff for this summer. We have to put together a plan on this additional funding. It's round three and you should have information in your packet. Um, we have Mr. Amons here and we have Mr. Lopez, of course, and Mrs. Hinkle to talk about um, how we're going to roll that out. Um, and I, I misspoke. I think Mr. Uh, Devano had asked me earlier when that was due. All payments are due. Everything has to be done and closed out. Every payment has to be made by June of 2024. So our projects, um, if we're looking at doing anything, we have to have it all done by then. June of 2024. June of 2024. And I, if you look at your packets, there, this is what was given to us. Uh, it's got right. a yellow and, front and on it. I'm the one that asked that this be on here. And I have some concerns, uh, not that we, I just, I've worked in government all my life. I know how it works. And I just am a little bit concerned. I mean, not saying that what we're planning on doing with it doesn't need done. It's just, it's my understanding that, that our list of what can, it can be used for was pretty narrow and it even broadened again today. The SBA has new criteria beginning today that they haven't even released uh, to, as of today. So my only concern is I don't want to say, I don't want to sit here and say, okay, we need to do all HVAC because that's the only thing they allow us to do. And yeah, the HVAC projects need done. But I don't want to. I don't want to spend the money, and then we sit here six months from now and say, "Oh, we've already used up our money." And now they're saying that we could could have taken five million of that, put it toward a new WI or whatever. Not saying that they will. I just don't. I just don't want to rush into it when they keep changing the criteria. And like I said, apparently you'll you'll have new criteria tomorrow even uh, because it changed. You have an idea what that new criteria. Is. No, but they've expanded what you can use it for. My my thoughts are. <clears throat> We have the 24 to use the money, so why do we, there's there's no need to spend it all on the front end? Can we take and do so much each year, and then at the end we know what we have to finish? We can you know be a big jump at the end rather than a big jump at the beginning. Joe, uh, you you're, you're, you can you can do that, but. With okay. everything we've got in the project, it's it's going to take a while to do it all. Oh, and the I understand. Availability of equipment right now is a lot longer than what it used to be, but uh, but we can phase it out. I'm I think not the thing sure we can get everything done. And it's two summer cycles. That's what we're. Right. A lot of that work has to be done during the summer. You really yeah. only have next summer and the next summer. Right. Right. You've got yeah. two. It's really. About six the thing months, that bothers me about phasing it is is the cost of materials right now are exorbitant. Yes. What's it going to be six months from now or next summer? Well, they can't cost you higher. They're, they could just as easily be less than what they. Well, are. they could. They could. You're absolutely right. I mean, they could go higher as well. I just my thought process is that if we if we go ahead and, and go along with this type of a plan, and and we hold the money. And six months down the road or a year down the road, they say you can use it for new building. You can use it for new facilities. What happens in 2024 when we don't have if we don't have all the money for a new WI and they take that five million dollars back and then we have nothing? I don't think that ever happened. We could then quickly spend it if that's the case. It, that's it has to be expended. I mean, I mean, like for instance, do we have and I haven't seen all of the plans, but do we I have know. Did we move anything because we could technically on our core project, the HVAC can come out of this money uh -huh. and then take the money that we were putting into that and put it back in the general fund. Is that being done? My experience with the federal government and free money is use it ASAP. Right. Because the federal treasury can come in at any time and say, okay, it's kind of like the lemonade story, you know, 
how much do you have left? And if you say you have 50, well, you must have not needed it. So then the next round, they're only going to get this five. And, and they can take the money back, the federal treasury. So That's my opinion the end. is... At the end, they can take it back. They can take it anytime they want. No, like, well, how many, how many million is... Uh, especially on these emergency... 26, yeah. 20, $26 million. So if you spend... But a portion of that is for learning loss. Right, There's right, right. 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 This right. is just the total so amount. So you spend mm -hmm. 10... About $20 million for facilities. You know, say you spend 5 to 7 or whatever first and then 10 or whatever the second and then finish up on the third third year with what's left to complete whatever projects, you know, and it gives you a better handle. That's up to you. If, it, if I was doing it, I would more. I would get it started and try to do it all. Yeah. I'm not saying I don't do it all, but I'm just saying doing it a little bit. In, so at the end, if they say that you could use five million, six million, whatever. And, and, and I'm not saying it. delay it for two years. I'm saying delay it for a month or, or two until we get all of the direction. Right. Uh, that's your, so you're when right. are you having it? When are you having a oh, meeting in the near future yes, with the state look, to tell us what yeah, to do? Yeah, and I actually took the very last date possible. We have to mm -hmm. present our plan to the state. I took the very last date that they were going to be at Bridgeport Conference Center, and I took July 20th. That is the last date to present our plan and what mm -hmm. we're doing. So we have to already identify the projects that we're doing, what we're doing for learning loss, and I have to present July the 20th at noon. Is the date they gave me, and they, they said there were dates as early as June third. Well, that's what I'm saying. Something yeah. changed today. So they, they I, I just that up, automatically I put in for that date yeah. and got it. So and yeah, that's fine to be the last. That's just my thing. Is I just hate to rush in. We do this even though the projects have been done, and then we find out that that some of this money could have been used for something that we needed even more. Well, like for instance, air purification seems to be a big. A big thing, okay? So we, we look into getting air purification into these schools. That's going to take a chunk of money, mm -hmm. okay? Maybe that if that's one of the top things or priorities now, you know, air purification, then you spend some of this money doing all that and then use some on your HVAC and what have you. And then next year we got more HVAC and whatever, or and I say next year. Can be six months down the road. It could be a year down the road. But you know, surely well, the air the air when, purification is included in this project. As far as the deionization units, mm -hmm. yeah, it's included in this. Uh, you, now, what's changed? I mean, this whole thing when it first started was very strict. Strict. Yeah. I mean, it was basically deionization only. Mm -hmm. But then it's expanded everything that causes infiltration into a facility, which could include roofs, include windows. Blue doors. Okay. I mean, but for if instance, the, if the SBA and like Gary just said, you know, we don't know right now if we could use this money towards the HVAC equipment at Gore Elementary. I, I was told you that can. Money. I found that. Well, out. See, I didn't know that. Yeah, that we can take the, the take this money, supplant that, and then take the other and put back into our right. general fund. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. I was I asked that question specifically. My other question is too, and I understand where we're changing and replacing and all that, but. You know, when you have this, uh, uh, e even if we go forward with this, when we look at, uh, we've got uh, a pile of money that we didn't have before. Uh, why wouldn't we look at finally putting air conditioning in the Robert C. Burton gym or the Liberty gym? I mean, to me, this is this is what you call common money. The other stuff, yeah, we have to do eventually. But you can make a bigger impact by finally getting some HVAC well, into this. That's gym. in this project to yeah, air conditioning C upgrades. Not only those yeah, but gyms you mentioned, but other gyms also. But is because there is none in. There's no air conditioning in Robert C. Burt. Is that in this? Project? They got the movers. Yes. They said right. it was going to be right. the fresh air. I don't think they've ever opened that. They have right. HVAC. These were all items out of the CFP that we identified as needs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Everything in here. Now, when we talked about personnel, like we're we're always appointing so much. You're bringing some money. Yeah. That money was in round two. It's already there. Okay. Already right here. Yeah. 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 So the salaries are covered. Um, I mean, I, I, I think uh, I like this. I think if we can hold off for a, just a few more weeks to find out just if there's anything else. Because like I said, today something happens where they release the new rules, which we don't even have yet. 
Mm -hmm. So I just don't want to move too quickly. And could, could you hold off until the end of June to find out if there's something else, and then we go forward with this? I mean, I like this thing. I, I have I have no problems with it. I'm just wanting to see if there's if there would be something else. And also, time. look if we can pull some of that our general fund money out of the Gore project mm -hmm. right. and then use this. Uh, I was told specifically by the SBA. You can. What's your What's your well, meeting going to entail on well, uh, July 20? Is this just the whole reason everything? everything. Uh, I have yeah, that's from on that's on from the CFP. But, but, but is the they're not the priority. Well, that's the not book. really. So not, not one, two, three priorities. So if, if you would be able to, would you be able to go back and say, and they'll give this you direction at this point? Yeah, this would be yeah, nice. good. Yeah. I mean, they're either going to approve it or not. Right. Maybe before you run off into the sunset. But here's my theory on here's my theory on the gyms and taking care of that. Right. You know, because someone may say, oh, yeah, that would take care of gyms. Don't know any. You know, this is called, this is emergency funds from COVID. Yes. And I think when you're spending it for air conditioning and gymnasiums, it's more along that line because those places need to function as evacuation centers. They need right. to function. And, and let's say you had a catastrophe. We ought to be able to put pots in our gyms, but you can't in July, middle of July when it's 400 degrees out there. So I think that's a proper use be able to do those gymnasiums because those are gathering places. Yes. That's that's why I'm more yes. concerned. If you know, if I was to say today, okay, we're gonna go ahead with all H back, that's where I would go want to go first, is to make sure that our gyms have well, air conditioning. That's why I asked if could he prioritize? Yeah. You know, and and then then we know a total amount of money we need to because it's already wonder how much it's going. Well, I think that was going to be the next step. We put everything in that we felt from the CFP, which is more than the money will right. pay for. Yeah. And then prioritize it from there when we see what kind of costs we're coming yeah. in on these. Because we don't know until that's fit out at the project. We, and then we're and the Department of Education down. also kind of yeah. got to have their approval on all this. Too. They, right. haven't, they haven't given us that full approval yet. Does it? It wouldn't. And does it bother you if we wait to the end of the month to, to approve this? Does that mess up for you? You think you have to do? Well, I have to put my plan out for 30 day comment oh. before I present to the board. Mm. So on July 20th. So we are on a tight. Okay. I mean, it might, uh, as far as putting it out for bid, I guess you could. I, I just have to. Put we don't have to put it out for bid. We just have to give them the, what we plan right. on doing with them. Well, I, I like yes. to have priority this first. And yeah. then so that's our, our bit. I mean, we're just there. we're just saying we're going to do X, Y, and Z at right. that July meeting. That and then you, yeah, then right. you could have a better idea of what to put in your in your uh, speech to the, what the, the powers be. Yes. If I could just interject, I know some of those uh, projects that need to be completed. We're going to have to take a look at because and we're finding out with more project what projects we can do while there are students in the building mm -hmm. and so that i think has a little bit to do with window when we can get things accomplished Joe. uh now ropes i think you might be able to do those when schools in session um some of the hvac work perhaps in the evenings um and then there's some that maybe they can so as far as priority and then the window uh, of when we would be able to get the work completed. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is look at you know, finding some, an architect or architect to take a look at, you know, just the procurement process. But we're still a, really a ways from even getting it. I mean, getting the projects out, bid. I mean, yeah, they're not going to be out. Yeah, because I think yeah. whoever we pick as the engineer architect will also help guide us to prioritize maybe some of them because they may have a better idea once they look at them what's more feasible and what's not. And I'm and I'm good with the five feeder areas. That way, everyone gets something, and you can spread the work out to other company, you know, to whatever companies. I'm I'm okay with that. I have a little bit of a concern with that if you have five projects going at the same time and you don't have one person overseeing it, things can go wrong over here and they can go over by a million and then you have to take it from this project over here. So right. you kind of have to have someone on top. And we discussed that. that. We, and we have discussed that. Something. Okay. I'm sorry. Are we just saying, I'm just saying something here. Why are we talking about architects? And you have to have an architect. It's a requirement. You have to hire an architect and engineering firm. At a &E &E. firm to do any of the projects. And during the pre bid, we found we have seven companies interested. 
There they are. You can't just throw an HVAC on, yeah. on a roof without uh, yeah. getting approval. It has to be designed. I'm an architect. I'm an architect and engineer, when, mechanical engineer. Before we built Johnson, we did tours in the schools. And one of the things, I think, I can't remember if it was a shepherd, but they had posted um, solar panels on the roof, mm -hmm. which uh, which increases the, the life of the roof, but also empowers the school. Is that something that we could do with some of this money, which would help out with alleviating the cost? I mean, you got all those flat roofs, it would be great for solar panels. And you'd like to talk about free money, but it would go right back into that school to save money on everything else, like your HVAC. Yeah, and a lot of a lot of our older schools are part of retrofit that way. I don't, you may be able to do it at Johnson, like they talked about. I think that falls under more under energy savings, yeah. and that it would not be a priority. Like an energy savings project, mm -hmm. it's more air quality. Right, but I was thinking about the, the roof. Oh, okay. like the, so we put it on the roof, it would save the wear and tear on the roof because it would be blocking. Mm -hmm. I just know what years ago. Yeah, that's not something that was ever. I don't know. Ever, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, nobody's ever discussed that before, so I don't yeah. know. So, one so thing that we have for you tonight is a general concept so that we well, have just an idea of what direction do you want to go. I mean, we've got this money. I have to put a plan together. We definitely have to get started on it. I think we're going to run into either supply issues and contractor issues um, if we wait. Well, is this a note? Does someone need to make a motion? No, 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 there's no action. It's this just a, a discussion on what we're looking at. This, this actually was the pre bid. This was the project. Um, the, and like I said, it's all taken out of CDFP. They're all things that need to be done. It's just a matter yeah, of. I mean, and, and I understand CEFP just saves us money in the long run. Yeah, it saves us a lot of money. And I understand the rush also because you don't know the unknown. But I mean, the other flip side of that too is if everyone's doing it at the exact same time. You have 55 counties doing it. There's only so many contractors anyway, so uh, it's not that you may get to it first. You may be better off after they finish the first wave of the, the projects and they're looking for it. Because, be. right, I mean, right now, if 55 counties are bidding all these projects, then it's a, uh, it's their market. It's not ours because they can, they well, can bid on it and they can choose to and they can choose not right. to. And, yeah, I think one of our concerns was we wanted to be quick out of the gate to secure the A and E firm, and then they could kind of guide us how quickly to pull the trigger on the actual doing of the project. But we were concerned if we didn't secure an A and E firm early, they would be so tied up that then we would be delayed even getting the person to start the project. And that's what these. That's, that's what, what these are. Yes. yes. Okay. Well, those are just the proposals. That, they the people people just want. there to be what they can their right. service. Right. So when do we vote on this or do we? Well, that, yeah. that's another yeah, question. Do you are you wanting to pick as a board the AMD or do you want to? I, I would I would prefer think, to let you and Jimmy do that and Joe, okay. and then you bring us a recommendation. Okay. That would be my preference. Yeah. Because you know you got five people here. We may all have a different opinion. But you three working together, you know. Uh, and there technically could be an AD firm that oversees the project, and you could have other AD firms going into the projects, correct? I think that could be done. Uh, you know, we've never done anything uh, this large with this many at this many schools at the same time. Because we so already come on. Yeah. Maybe, perhaps we can find some, get some clarification from that. Yeah. Uh, Maybe school building for you or, or even the. So you basically have an architect of record and then. Yeah, you know, we just have to be real careful because yeah. there's a lot of paperwork, and as you know, a lot of rules with federal contractors. Right. With the rules that you're allowed to violate. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean if they. Which had an oversight from that point person might help coordinate those jobs. Right. Yeah, because we even talked about who would be part of the works for this to kind of oversee the whole thing or. Yeah, I think yeah, you have to have someone to pull the pieces together. All right. Well, that's, I mean, that gets the ball rolling. That's all I want. I just want to make sure we were well, just to keep you up to date on what we're looking at here. Project. It's a lot. It's a lot, too. Mm -hmm.
But okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna add up all that all time. Okay. Last time we did that. Yes. One more board member, Jack Hall, and Christina will be. So whoever you want to appoint. Who? I can. I mean, I can do it. Who? Uh, who out of the board wants to be on the? You did it last time. I did last time on the uh, committee for selecting our uh, our other. Okay. Accounting firm. Anyone have? We will have to do our accounting firm selection again. I always appoint one more member. Frankie did it last time. Did it last time? Three years ago. There's like a prescribed state gives you the board number for the office. I mean, it's pretty. If someone wants to do it, then let me know. Not me. I can't handle it. Yeah. He lost money tonight. Uh, yeah, this week. All right, we will uh, move down to old, no old business. What, what about the <laughs> broadband and that, uh, connect? Is that was that part of? Was that something this, separate? This or is, is that uh, of individuals the, have to do that. This was just information that was oh, sent out okay. to the families so they okay. can get fifty dollars a month yeah. off the internet, and okay. it's available. But they have to reach out. So we. Supply this to families. Okay. So they can take care of it. Right. It's supposed to be an easy process where they just get it and now you have to go <coughs> asking for it. Yeah. Uh, no uh, policy updates. Mm -hmm. This is down to personnel matters. Yes, sir. And we do have personnel matters. Is there a motion? I mean, Mr. Hope, to approve. you need to recuse yourself for what? Personnel. personnel. Oh, bro, I'm sorry. I didn't know he was there. I'm sorry. I was telling a lie. I mean, a story. Huh? <laughs> yes, I need to recuse myself. I have uh, two people uh, working the summer program. Lauren Huddle and Amanda Ferris were working at summer school. So I need to recuse okay, myself. Okay, is there a motion? I make a motion to approve noting Mr. Uh, Coke's recusals. It's been moved. Is there a second? I'll second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, board member comments. Mr. Donnery. Uh, I have nothing. Ms. Messenger. Uh, yes, I would like to bring up what we were discussing in the beginning. Um, if, this is, if this is what I thought was the appropriate time about these graduations. And I do want to make note that this isn't the first time I'm bringing it up because I brought it up four years ago as well. That there are rules and I understand that. But I do believe, like Doug said, that something has to happen where there's a uniform. And when children, students, young adults are told they aren't even going to walk, in the graduation because they're missing a credit or something like that. I think all that needs to be through the superintendent. I, I think you should have or the final say on what ends up being the finale of someone's educational uh, career in Harrison County. And I don't understand the need to make it negative under so, such little circumstances and some that are outright wrong like representing your school and families and stuff there there's a point where this has to be reevaluated in my opinion and uh, kids that have spent 12 13 years doing everything they could for the school and the community get ostracized and, and it's just not right just not and um i, I think something that we should get, get together we should have us do something uh different or come up with a plan or get on but I think it needs to go through our office. Once again, I don't think every school, of course they can have their own little traditions and stuff, but there has to be a standard that this is a celebration. It is not a punishment when you graduate. And that is how it ends up for a lot of our students. And principals need to know how to pick their battles. And that shouldn't be one of them. It should not opinion. be lauded over someone's head. You know, yes. I think I think, that, I think I this year of all years there should have should yeah, have should have been some leeway. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Howard, that was mine. Mr. Howard? No, uh, no comments. No Mr. Devana, uh, one thing I would like to say: I know we are uh, in a position within the county where we're having difficulty with with subs. 
um, and substitute teachers. And, and I wanted to know if there was a possibility for us to do some kind of drive, some kind of hiring drive, and if it's a possibility, if we could do something like we did with the bus drivers, where we could offer some type of a stipend for subs to sign on so that we can get subs. I don't know if that's legal, if it's possible, or if it's something that we should maybe consider. But I know that we're we're in a difficult situation with subs, and, I'm, and I want to see if there's something we can do to alleviate some of that process to, of getting wow. them on and getting them and bringing, making them attractive. I'm really not sure. You yet. don't pay, you can't pay any kind of bonus. None of that you can do. Now, maybe if you could find something that you could reimburse them. Because that's kind of how we've gotten away with the bus right. driver thing. It's not like a signing bonus. Right. It's going to pay them right. back for right. something that they had to do. Um, I just think they're not. We just don't have them as available. No, and I know. Our mm -hmm. teachers are removing themselves from the mm -hmm. sub list. Um, and, I, you know, counties are facing this lots of places. Yeah. We've had a lot of conversations about it. We've even this year put our county office staff that have certifications on a rotation and we're calling them to go and fill uh, classrooms, usually on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. This last month of school has been difficult. It was difficult during the mm -hmm. vaccine times because we had a lot out. Um, and now I think we've had some long-term subs. A lot of our retired teachers have decided next year they just they'll I think they've been off this year and they mm -hmm. discovered that they can they can still enjoy their time. Yeah, so yeah. I've had conversations with some of them. To stay on the and I think and only quite honestly, days. it's the chickens come home roost. We beat up teachers over the last five, six years and we've run them out of the profession. Um, I just wondered if there's something that we can do. Like an incentive. Yeah, incentive wise to get subs. I mean, we could. Um, how about? I mean, there are the West Virginia Learn subs that are the daily subs or that can get the 30 day. Um, I mean, we're trying to seek them out, but a lot of times they don't stay either. They'll work and then take another job somewhere. I have a good suggestion on this because I'm kind of sitting in that place and, you know, my daughter, I wanted her to apply. Uh, is there, can we not have like a fair, like, Anybody that's interested in being a sub, but we have people that can walk them through everything they have to do, have the papers there they have to fill out, have where they have to get fingerprinted, everything just to make it easier instead of here, this is what you got, this is what you have to do, call us when you're done. Hiring drive. Like, yeah, like mm -hmm. a substitute hiring drive, like you're talking about, mm -hmm. but in the format, like when, uh, I remember like when the, when the kids were in high school and they had the, when you sign up for, your uh, your federal grants and stuff and all the parents went in they were and you know everyone was real, real excited but if you have like a fair like that where it is simplified that they can fill out the paperwork do their fingerprints if there's any questions you know bring their transcripts in you know i just really think like i, I think that would work. work i mean because the West Virginia learn stuff. So but even regular, there, there may be there may be people who used to teach. They they they're raising their kids, and now they could probably get back in. But that may be too much trouble to come up there. Maybe. And there's the mall, and there's a booth there. And hey, you know, they, they may. Well, yeah, those in. are if they've already got a teaching yeah. license, and that's not expired. See, a lot of them will let their license. <clears> but it may be the case where I do that. I don't feel like going up there and doing right. that. But uh, well, it doesn't hurt if you set up a if you set up a table at the mall for a couple weeks. I guarantee you, you'd probably get ten to twenty. Yeah, but I will tell you, our new teachers, we had multiple ones that just graduated. They've all gotten jobs. They're going right out into positions. We mm -hmm. had two math positions. We had a, a, a math positions, two science positions, title positions. And we are doing some different things with like we're allowing title to work on getting their certification. So we have this last Thursday, we were really pleased with but it will be the matter. Of and even even once you just said, there's people that have degrees out there now that can be rolled, like you're saying. I'm on the board and like, I don't even know what they are. And, and like I said, I have my daughter there and I'm always trying to find out. Like, well, that's just what's, I, I don't yeah. know what she needs to do. I go to the West Virginia side. We need to have a more direction where somebody can bring their Chinese books and say, what can this, what can I do with this? Yeah. yeah, the West Virginia Learns is a pretty streamlined thing if you have a degree. The new guidelines that's coming out July 1, they have yet to tell us what all you need. I know there, there has to be a degree and you have to pass the practice content. 
<laughs> there's going to be another step and they have yet to tell us at the certification office. And I believe Howard will speak on that. Okay. Well, I have to but that's going to be an avenue if you have a bachelor's degree you can to pass content and easy quick. I've passed all my content on my practice. And but and as soon as we should agree that I am not certified in the state of West Virginia, yeah. so be sure you would be under the new under the new guidelines. But so, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Well, I don't think it's out there. Yeah, I don't think it's out there. Yeah. We've been searching the certification office. We just talked in the last week. They have yet to determine what that's going to look like. I had the 11th, but I forgot about that. But that's going to be a good, it'll be, I mean, 16, 15. All right, anything else? No, sir. Mr. Let's go finish. Just to, Give everyone an update Thursday at four o'clock at the bridge. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll see a tour. Is your boss going to be changing that? I doubt you can't come any earlier. Like Could you come during your lunch period? No, I can. I can. Earlier is better. Yeah, but we need to make sure they're even open. Well, I mean, if we well, I'll have to see if they can. Yeah. If they can change it to noon, then we can do it at noon. Yeah, I can, I can try to get off. Yeah. If they can do it, we do it at noon. Otherwise, it's four o'clock. Since you've already set it up. Also, next. Remember next Thursday, correct? No, this point there. Yeah, that's for there. But then next Thursday we have that statewide or the regional meeting that we always have at the Bridgeport Conference. Oh, okay. it's, it's a ten. Is it six o'clock? Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's it's a six o'clock uh -huh. at the conference center, and it kind of switched. They have out. haven't sent much out. I don't know. No, they haven't. So that's the it's regional, the old region. Is that good? Yeah, we'll call them. Yes, I ain't call them. Yeah. See, I think we're slacking this reset. This reset used to be that for all the people that were like kind of on the didn't really didn't know what they needed to do or not do. We don't have that. So just remember that. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. All those in favor say aye. 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 Children of peace, go in peace. You almost blew it.